Well, I continue, as I said before, to like the tech sector and also communication services, because communication services in the states is the economic sector that has the social media companies like Alphabet and Meta. And so, of the MAG-7 that I'm always uh, asked about, I like five out of the seven. I do not like Apple, and some people uh, like Apple after today's announcement, which I didn't think was that big of a deal. We can get into that. And I haven't liked Tesla for some time, but the other uh, stocks should be in pretty good shape. And so I still see, with the AI infrastructure build, outperformance in that area. Yeah, let's talk about Apple. Why weren't you inspired? And you say that uh, Apple is facing some big threats, plural. Yeah. So here's the problem with Apple. You know, let's talk about uh, what's transpired before we got to today's announcement. You know, they've actually shrunk their revenues five of the last six quarters. And the last time they had a double digit percentage revenue quarter was the December quarter of 2021. So here's a tech company that's supposed to grow that hasn't really grown in two or three years. So it is incumbent upon them to find a growth accelerator because this company is never acquisitive. So they always have to do it with their own research and development. And so today, everybody hoped that AI would be the kicker. I thought that the announcements were as expected. I thought a lot of the AI functionality they announced today was just catching up with uh, some of the other vendors uh, in which they compete. You know, Apple always has something special in their ecosystem, which is the privacy. Uh, but beyond that, I don't know if these AI features are that extraordinary and that different from all of the other smartphone vendors that it's going to drive a major, what they call in the United States, a super cycle for the iPhone. Uh, the analysts on Wall Street that saw the presentation today said it was a game changer. It's going to accelerate iPhone sales. I will believe it when I see it. Uh, but as of now, I don't think that uh, we're going to have a up cycle for sure. But the bulls are depending on a extraordinary up cycle, a super cycle for the iPhone. I don't think there's enough there with these AI announcements that we'll see that. OK, so not the big bang you were hoping for, but what are you looking for in, in this company then? So I think they're going to continue to struggle without an acquisition that's very large, that moves their needle. Now, this is a company that does $300 billion a year in sales, so it's very hard to move that needle. So they have bet the ranch on AI, and what they're hoping is these AI functions will have you upgrade your current uh, phone or switch from another vendor. And... Of course, these iPhones, if you buy the latest and the greatest, those have the higher price points and they're most profitable. So that is a pretty bold bet because all of the other businesses within Apple are not growing, as I said before, at really much of a rate. The services business is uh, great, but the services business is still a pretty small percentage of Apple's overall gain.